we are continuing our studies on parameterized functions and this is one more program that we are going to check in this we are going to swap two numbers but in this program we are going to use call by reference method instead of call by value so obviously we are going to use pointers so while declaring and defining my function i am calling it as swap i am passing two parameters input parameters for this functions are two integer pointers x and y and then this is basic swap operation that is happening over here but let us start from the mean i am asking user to enter two numbers a and b so value that user is going to enter will be stored at address location of a and address location of b and then i am just simply printing before swapping a is equal to value of a and b is equal to value of b and then i am calling my swap function notice that this time instead of passing a and b directly i am passing address of a and address of b so technically what is happening over here when we make this call this is something that is happening int star x is equal to address of a so this is nothing but integer pointer x is going to point at address location of a so when we use star x we can replace it with star address of a and we have seen in the lectures on pointers we can call it as value at address of a so whatever the value that a is can be referred as star x and star y can be used to access value of b because star y is nothing but star address of b that is value at address of b in the swap function i have taken one temporary variable to swap two values so star x which is equivalent to a will be stored into temp and then star x is equal to star y that is equivalent to a is equal to b and then star y is equal to temp so in this statement value of b will be stored at a and because we have already stored value of star x that is a into temp hence value of temp will be stored at star y that is b so b is equal to temp so using three statements and a function to which we are passing address locations of our variables and in that function we are using integer pointers which will be pointing to these locations we are able to swap two numbers so this statement gets completely executed and after that i am just printing after swapping a is equal to a and b is equal to b so values will be swapped if we have entered let's say 10 and 20 here output will be 20 and 10 most important thing to notice over here is that no separate local variable variables are created by this swap function we are just using pointer variables which are pointing to our original variables from main i'm pretty sure that with this program you must have cleared all your concept related to pointers and using call by reference methods i strongly encourage you to try a few programs by yourself so that your understanding of pointers and call by reference methods becomes more clear